Learning video editing is the easiest path to making online money. And I know there are tons of other videos out there about this topic, so you might already have a bit of confusion and unanswered questions, which is why by watching this entire video, I want you to feel equipped with the right knowledge for whether or not you should choose video editing as your career path. Right, but first of all, why should I even listen to you? And it's a fair question because I worked with the likes of VidIQ with over 2 million subscribers, Half a Go with over 10 million subscribers, 10X Income with over 330,000 subscribers, and many, many more. On top of that, I have over half a billion views generated across YouTube and working for, again, many different YouTubers across all different niches but I was at your position just two years ago and very quickly I actually changed my whole life around. Now I'm a full-time video editor meaning I can travel the entire world because I'm not bound to any set location but okay you don't really care about the life I'm living you want to do this for yourself right so how can you do too so let's jump straight into it number one you choose a software and just pick Adobe you don't need to go watching all these videos about what software to pick just pick Adobe. You start on Premiere Pro. Once you get better, you learn After Effects. You also get the advantage of being in the Adobe suite with using Photoshop, Illustrator. That's why you just stick with Adobe. But Adobe crashes and it's overpriced. Like, this is what you sound like, bro. I hate these arguments, man. If you do some research about Adobe, everyone's always complaining about Adobe. Like, oh, it's like overpriced. It keeps crashing, all that kind of stuff. But all you need to do is just learn a skill. And Adobe is the best software to learning that skill. Stop complaining. Stop looking at the negative side of things. Just look at the best software and pick it. Buy Adobe. It's the best software. There. Number two, investing. As I just said, buying Adobe. Of course, that's like a small investment, but I love this quote. Investing yourself is the best investment you will ever make. Rather than investing in stocks or in crypto or whatever, invest in yourself first. And that especially goes for editing, right? I lost a thousand dollars in dropshipping, probably more to be honest, three thousand two hundred dollars in day trading, and I lost zero dollars in video editing because all the money I've ever spent on like subscriptions and hardware, like this MacBook, which cost a lot more than a thousand, it all went back into my video editing skills. It's not just courses which i'll get into in a second like when i'm thinking of my video editing purchases i spent what a hundred dollars on deep go hundreds of dollars a month on all these different softwares i use you know hundreds to thousands on monitors desks keyboards mouse pads mouses everything right but that gives me the luxury to be able to edit faster and make more money faster and also just be more comfortable editing so don't look at those as expenditures those are all investments the reason i'm so heavy on investing is because the barrier of entry to video editing is extremely low since there basically is no barrier to entry anyone with a laptop can go and learn the skill of video editing on even like a free video editing software, let alone paying $30 a month for Premiere Pro. So there's lots of competition. If you go on Upwork and you search for video editing, there's 38,000 results. So you're competing with a lot of different video editors, especially for those good positions, let alone the bad ones. I mean, if you can't even get a position for $5, how are you expecting to land someone who's willing to pay $90,000 a year? Realistically, you won't if you don't invest in yourself. And as mentioned, I got here in just two years, but that's because I spent over $2,000 on just courses. But I spent a lot more money on like books and knowledge that helped me throughout. Like for example, I bought tons of books on like sales and negotiation and stuff like that, which helped me a ton when I was on calls with these super professional businessmen trying to sell them my video editing services. I actually get told a lot on calls that I seem to be a lot more professional than all these other editors, which I used to just take the word for it. But then I actually started interviewing people to hire them for my editing agency. And I agreed there's a lot of unprofessionalism in the space, which I won't get into in this video because I already touched on it in a lot of other videos. But here's some proof that I actually spent, for example, $997 on an editing course. This was just one of the courses so this was half of the money i spent on courses just on one course and keep in mind everything i learned in spending two thousand dollars on courses i included in my own course along with a lot more stuff and it does not cost anywhere near 997 dollars so if you don't know what to invest in link is down below trust me if you're trying to edit full time this is by far the best investment you will ever make anyway number three is css common sense shit right let me present you with two options a you can sit play video games and eat pizza B, you can go and practice video editing. What are you going to choose? Video editing. Well done. <laughs> scroll on TikTok or watch a video editing channel. Choice is yours. What are you going to choose? Video editing. I say this because like 80% of the time you just need to make the right decision. Do you want to be entertained on YouTube or do you want to be educated by watching an education channel about editing? It's just those little changes that you need to make and they'll go such a long way, man. Just making the right decisions. Common sense shit. Guys, I've worked with literally probably hundreds of editors by now. I see the common patterns and I wanted to summarize this into the three most important things I learned. Pick a good software, invest in yourself, and common sense shit. That's where you start. With that being said, you also have the opportunity to ask me any question right now for free. If you are a full-time video already, this probably isn't the video for you because this is aimed towards beginners who aren't there yet. And so if you're not there yet, do you have any questions? But if you don't have any questions, it's time for action. We are now going to jump into Premiere Pro where I will give you a quick overview of what an editor is looking at every single day. But what is it like in reality, right? I recently uploaded like a 45 minute video where basically 30 minutes of it was just me sat there editing. So if you're curious to watch that, 
go ahead, but I want to run you through the application. So this is actually the video I was on about where I was editing for, as you can see, over 30 minutes. And by the way, I actually recorded the entire behind the scenes of this video, which is on the MM Bootcamp. But okay, this is Premiere Pro, right? So down here, down the bottom is your timeline. This is where you will actually see the video visually, right? So for example, my recording over here, I can see it down here, right? And this goes for everything. This goes for any asset that you're using will be seen down here. Any effect you're adding onto the video, that's not a new asset, right? An asset is basically a picture, a video, audio. It's the primary resource or primary material that is used in every single edit. So this is where all of your assets will be. As you can see, this is just my A-roll and audio. But anyway, I might be overcomplicating you beginners with this <laughs> long project. So let me simplify it for you guys. Let me create a new file. Let's just call it subscribe right because bro 94 percent of you guys aren't even subscribed man i don't even know what to say so now you can see it's a lot simpler right but you can even ignore this because for the most part you can just drag and drop your assets into the timeline just let's focus just on the timeline so when you have anything on your timeline what you can do is actually click on it and when you click on it you can see that you can change the effects of the asset up here you have your position you have your scale. These are like the basic effects that you can change in pretty much every single video, right? And the same goes for audio. You can see the audio is down here. We can change the level of it and a bunch more settings, right? And then if you want to add any other effects, there's a panel here called effects where you can go ahead and add any other effect. If you want to blur, just type in blur and you probably won't have this many effects but i just have a lot of like presets and stuff it's gonna be a lot simpler for you right but then we found this blur so all you got to do is drag it drop it and again the blur is back in where we add effects up to top left effects controls you can see we have a blur now we can add a blur and then let's say for example we don't want a blur but then we want the blur to slowly fade in we have a timer which when clicked all this means is that do you see this little dot at this point, this is the value that the blur will have. And you can do this, as you can see, this timer is for every single effect. So you can add crops this way by adding a timer at a specific time, moving forward in time, and then bring the crop down. So for example, let me just demonstrate because it'll be easier. If I scroll a little bit further and then I add the blur, you can see that Adobe is going to now do mathematics in order to calculate where the blur will start and how much it should be changing by. And that's honestly all you need to know. What do you mean that's all I need to know? Do only need to know like animations, sound effects, how to correctly pace videos, what to trim out, how to trim it out, how to actually manipulate audio. Sure, but that'll come over time. Trust me, this is all you need to know for now. What you should be doing rather than just watching this video is just open up Premiere Pro. Ideally follow along like a course in chronological order. That's what I done. I spent over $2,000 in courses when I was learning. Obviously I'm gonna plug my course here, link in the description, because that way you learn everything in chronological order and you won't jump into animations without learning trimming first. You know, it'll, it'll just make a lot of sense. Now basically all of the tips I'm gonna give you, it's, I, I apply them to the M Bootcamp because it's just, <laughs> it, it is the best place for any video editor who's trying to learn editing, right? Because next up what you need to do is find the best websites for any asset that you want to use because let's say i want to import like an icon let's say i want to import some music what are the best sites for that right again that's all in them in bootcamp but next up is experimenting right you should just literally either record a video yourself or just download something off youtube and just cut it up add some music add some effects and just do some work for free you shouldn't go out looking for work obviously you need to learn the skill of editing first and just by like this five minutes of me showing you what to do on editing you can actually do a lot and you might think that look i'm not able to do animations like this and effects like this but even this animation that's on screen right now, I made an entire 45 minute video on it, which you can just follow along. And by following along that video, you are going to learn essential animation skills at a fundamental level so that you can learn those straight away and apply them to other projects. And that's how you start stacking these skills and editing is just by completing lots of random different projects, understanding how to edit from start to finish, and then just being creative with it and just experimenting. So if you wanna go ahead and just attempt this animation for yourself, which I'd recommend you do, go check it out. It's on my channel. It's called How to Land a $2,000 Client. Or if you wanna make money as fast as possible with video editing, jump into the Emma Bootcamp and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.